at some point or another, all of us will go through the fire. You will be burned. That fiery furnace life puts you through is not without reason. You are being forged. Those of you who are wondering, how can I keep going like this? This is for you. Some of you have been through so much that you should have lost your mind. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you. Because every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith will be tested. You will hit something. And when you do, you will have a choice. Many choose to turn around. They feel a little pain and run away. But there is a small number who decide that the pain is worth the prize. These people will do whatever it takes to make it to the other side. Make know your vitamin. Get excited about the no. Why? Because every time someone says no, that brings you another step to a yes. You're getting closer. Trust me, you will win if you don't quit. Now, whatever goal you have, you're going to have some opposition. You're going to have some difficulties. You're going to have some challenges. You're going to have your inner conversation telling you you can't do it. And you're going to have people picking at you. You got to talk to yourself when you begin to think negative. I don't think I can do that, Les. You can. Why don't you just test yourself? Why don't you stretch, Les? Come on, man. When you start seeing yourself thinking something negative, stop it right quick. Stop yourself. Catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you, you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. As you start believing that you are worthy, of good things supposed to happen to you, you develop a sense of entitlement. Good things supposed to happen to me. Working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue, it will determine the quality of your life. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. So you've got to believe you can get through this. You've got to have faith, knowing that there is something greater for you in this world. Because once you commit yourself and you know your why, the how will come. Once you commit yourself, you will figure it out. You just have to begin challenging yourself, stretching yourself, because you really don't know what you can't do. When you believe with everything in you that you are destined for greatness, you will find a way. You turn a tragedy into a triumph, despair into repair, pain into gain, adversity into prosperity. People ask me, where are your greatest moments? Every single one of them's failure. That's why I got to learn who I was. That's why I got the report card to know which part was fixed, which part was broken, so I can take my effort and reapply it. See, when you invest in something, and you hustle and you work for something, you got a different type of attachment to it. You're gonna have a cold day in hell for somebody to try to take this from you. We live by this, we die by this. We don't surrender, we don't retreat. When you put your blood, sweat, and tears into something, it becomes a part of you. It's more than just a goal. It's an embodiment of your dedication. It's the obstacles you fought your way through. It's the long nights of, how are we gonna make this work? It's the lonely hours of grinding through the dark when you can't make ends meet. Somebody told you it was over. Somebody told you just go home and die. Somebody told you you'll never be a doctor. They sent you home, you failed. They sent you home, law school. They sent you home. Never give up and never give in. Because skill can't get you past certain things. Quickness and agility can't. You gotta have mental toughness. You don't give up on me, you don't quit on me. You man up, you woman up. You get your life back, you get your family back. I need you to have mental toughness. When you come up against that thing, you gotta outlast it. And you gotta already have made up your mind before you get to cancer. You gotta already have made up your mind before you get to that exam. You gotta already have made up your mind when you're talking to your husband, when you're talking to your wife, when you're talking to that sickness. You gotta look at it before you even get to it. So don't you ever give up. I don't care how hard you fall, fall on your back. Cause if you can fall on your back, you can look up. And if you can look up, you can get up. 